New Tool Day Tuesday, where I share with you guys unique or useful tools that I myself use that I think you might be interested in. Today we're gonna to be talking about a bearing packer, but this bearing packer is a little bit different than the one we reviewed about six months ago. ZooYL reached out to me and they asked if they could send me this so I could share it with you guys. They said it's a little bit different and they wanted me to take a look at it and share it with you guys. On the left is my trusty bearing packer and this is pretty much what you would normally find when you're buying a bearing packer. We talked about bearing packers and yes, you can pack a bearing by hand, but when you're packing a lot of bearings, it's really nice to have one of these on hand. They work really well, but they take a whole lot of pressure to pack the bearing and you really have to shove down really hard to get the grease to go up inside that bearing. ZooYL's version works a little bit differently because you just twist the handle which screws the cone down and fills the bearing. The secret to this design is it does have this nice big handy T handle which makes it easy to turn, but the cone is attached to the handle and on the inside of the cone it is threaded. The packer itself has a stationary piece of threaded rod so when you mate the two together and you start turning the handle, it slowly tightens up on that bearing. And trust me, turning this T-handle to pack the bearing is a whole lot easier than the amount of force it takes to press the bearing down on this particular design. Just like any other bearing packer, you're gonna put the grease into the bottom of the container and you're gonna put the piston back inside. Take the bearing, cone size down, drop it in, just like that. Take the plunger and start threading it on. And once we snug that T-handle down, we're just gonna keep turning until we see grease coming through the bearing. And I'm not putting a lot of pressure to turn this T-handle, it's actually turning really easy. And you can see the grease is already starting to flow out the top of the bearing. So let's go ahead and pull the bearing out and we'll take a look at it. So the first thing to take note of is it did get grease between the bearing and the cage. So we know it's packed pretty well. And then looking sideways at the bearing, you can see grease at the top of the roller and at the bottom of the roller. So the bearing packer did its job. It packed the bearing and you didn't have to press down on the top of the handle like a traditional bearing packer. It was a whole lot easier just to turn the T-handle. I will put a link in the description down below to this product and as usual, if I find any any problems with this product in the future, I will also put a pinned comment down below explaining those problems. If you like these types of videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. Take a look at some of my other videos. At the very least, you might be entertained.